Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a RAID 1 mirror drive set within Windows. So now what RAID 1 is mirroring, so it's pretty much when data comes in, it writes to both drives and their exact copy of each other. As you can see here, it offers redundancy and protection, but if you lose one disk, you'll retain all your data, because it's an exact copy here, but if you lose both, then you're going to lose all your data. So if you do lose one, then you put in another new disk, and then it'll rebuild the mirrored set and you'll be back in business. But of course, you're going to waste 50% of your disk capacity because it's just a mirrored copy and it's taking up all that space. So if this is one terabyte and this is one terabyte, you only get one terabyte of space, not two. And you get some pretty good write performance and really good read performance and you need a minimum of two disks, obviously, to make a mirror. And they must have the same capacity. So if this is one terabyte, that's got to be one terabyte. So we have our Windows 7 VM here that we're going to do it on because I don't have... Uh, the extra disk to do it on the physical computer, so I set up a virtual one here. So we're going to go to disk management, so what you could do is click on start, right click my computer and manage, and then get to it there, or you could just do a search for disk management, and they call it create and format hard disk partitions, even though it'll be called disk management when you open it. Now we just added these two disks here, so we're going to initialize them. So Disk Manager could use them. Alright, so now you can see we have two 25 gigabyte disks here that we're going to mirror together, but there's no volume created. And so what we're going to do, because if you do have a volume created, you're going to have to erase the volume before you get the um, mirror option right there. So I'm going to right click on one of them, pick new mirrored volume, and go through the wizard here. And so we already have, that was disk 1 we clicked on. So disk 2 will be the second one in the mirror. And you'll see that we have two disks of 25 gigs, yet we only have 25 gigs total space. So click on Next, and we'll give it a drive letter. Let's call this one M for mirrored. And we'll give it a name. We'll call it mirrored disks. Or let's go mirrored disk. And we'll do a quick format on it. And so what you notice too, if you don't convert it to a dynamic disk beforehand, it's going to want to do it during the uh, mirror setup. So either way is fine. And we could ignore that. And so we'll say yes. Because right now they're basic disks, but now just convert them to dynamic. And now it's formatting. So now you can see we have our two mirror disks. They both have the same drive letter and 25 gigs each. And it's just open up Windows Explorer here for drive M. And if we go there, there's our mirror drive. It just shows up as one drive with letter M with 25 gigs of space, even though technically it's two drives with 25 gigs of space each. So when data comes in, it'll write to this one and write to this one at the same time. So that's how you set up a mirror drive in Windows. Pretty easy. All right. Thanks for watching.